वेलकम टू दॉजिट डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ पासवर्ड बेस सर्क्यूट ब्रेकर यूजिंग एस एम एस अलर्टिंग सिस्टम सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू एंटर द पासवर्ड फ्रॉम दिस फोर बाई फोर मैट्रिक्स की पैड एंड बेज ऑन द पासवर्ड एक्सेस ग्रांडेड देन द सिस्टम विल ऑन ऑन ऑफ दिस टू सर्क्यूट ब्रेकर्स विद हेल्प ऑफ दिस इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक रिलेस एंड ऑल्सो फॉर एवरी ऑपरेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सेंड द मेसेज अलर्ट्स टू द रजिस्टर ई मोबाइल फोन नंबर बाई यूजिंग दिस जी एस एम मॉडम यूजिंग द सिम कार्ड so here we are providing 230 volts ac power supply to the transformer so transformer will step down the 230 volts ac to 12 volts of ac and the next that 12 volts of ac will be converted into the 5 volts dc by using this regulated power supply board so it has the rectifier with help of four diodes we are going to convert that 12 volts ac to 12 volts pulsating dc and then the pulsating dc will be converted into the pure dc by removing the pulses with help of this capacitor 1000 microfarad so we will get 12 volts pure dc voltage but we need 5 volts as the operating voltage for our whole system is a 5 volts means to the microcontroller lcd gsm and relays is a 5 volts operating voltage for that purpose we are going to making use of this regulator lm2596 so which will take 12 volts dc and which will provide us the 5 volts dc constant output so we are providing that here so from here we are going to distributing that throughout the input output modules from this motherboard to the microcontroller also so here we are using pic 16f 877a microcontroller which will taking care of inputs and controlling the output modules so here the output modules are relays and uh, gsm modem and lcd display and the buzzer so when not we enter the wrong password then the system will on and off this buzzer to provide the audible alerts and also it will send the message alert to the register mobile phone number so on this motherboard we can see the led indication which will show the status of the motherboard getting the 5 volts power supply and this steel plate on is a crystal oscillator which will provide us 20 megahertz of oscillating frequency to execute the instructions so my every microcontroller need a clock pulse to execute the instructions so in our project the instructions are reading inputs and controlling the output modules so input from the keypad so which will provide 20 megahertz nothing but controller can execute 20 mega instructions per second so coming to the interfacing connections the input keypad interface at the b0 to b7 of our microcontroller and uh, c7 c6 is interface to the gsm module and the t2 interface to the buzzer and a and e port interface to the 16 by 2 lcd screen and these two relays are interface at the d6 and d7 through here so this four wire consists of d6 d7 and plus minus power supply to this relay board so let us see the demonstration before on the kit we need to insert a valid sim card other than the geo so my suggestion is to use the airtel sim card so we should have the micro sim adapter so like this we should insert that into the micro sim adapter as i shown this notch should be this side and inserting to the gsm module so push to lock and push to unlock so keep it in lock position and now on the power supply to the main motherboard so wait till the gsm modem get the signal so we can observe that by seeing this red led so it's blinking fast after getting the signal the blinking red got the slow down right now it is slow down right so now again reset the motherboard means after getting the sim card signal only we need to allow the microcontroller to communicate with that then only the commands will be executed to make the gsm modem to send the messages now please enter the password so 1 2 3 four right circuit breaker 1 got switched on and it will send the message alert to the authorities we can receive the message now so if you are not receiving the message we need to restart the microcontroller again because the commands need to be executed properly again on 2 3 4 right so we got the message again same for 
of the circuit breaker reverse uh, the same password 4321 so 1234 on the circuit breaker 4321 of the circuit breaker so we got the same message again same 2 yeah so if it's not entering that just you can reset the system so same for second uh, circuit breaker this 2345 2 on the circuit breaker right when it's asked the password then only we need to enter 2345 circuit breaker 2 got switched on right and again same 5 4 3 2 so this sms can be accessed from anywhere in the world as uh, we are using gsm modem so it can send the messages to the particular number that can be from anywhere in the world we can get that right.